Greetings person on YouTube who uses their eyes to see the video, but their heart to judge another human soul. It is me, Brian Kratz, indie developer extraordinaire, and today I am here to run you down the best five curve moments of 2017 so you can learn a bit more about the publisher and celebrate what they've done this year. But I am a busy man, so let's not waste any more time and get the f on with it. Number five, Human Fall Flat, Steam Multiplayer. Ah, oh, Human Fall Flat, the game where you play a human and he falls flat, but there's also so much more. You step into the shoes, even though he's not wearing any shoes, of the gooey man named Bob, where you have to embark on a physics-based adventure, which is both your friend and your enemy. Like cheese! Well, cheese if you are lactose intolerant then that analogy works, but I really shouldn't have said anything. Onwards, Human Fall Flat was very well received when it was released in 2016, which is why it got even better in 2017 when Curve did indeed add multiplayer to proceedings, allowing you to play with up to seven friends. The real joy here is the madness that can ensue. You can try and work together, but the crazy physics and never quite knowing how things will react constantly take you off guard. Much like my new indie game, Off Guard. How does a small, peaceful community that plans their day down to the second cope with the unexpected? Namely, a surprise birthday party, especially when they don't have any party bags. Off Guard coming soon by me, Brian Kranst. Number four, Bomber Crew. Have you ever woken up and thought to yourself, damn, I know I would have been an amazing pilot during World War II. Damn my bastard parents for not birthing me into the right era. Of course you have, because we all have, but finally, your dreams can come true. Coming out this year, 2017, was Bomber Crew, a strategic simulation game where indeed you had to pick a crew and go bomb the shit out of the Nazis in order to help with the war effort. The real twist though was that if you didn't keep an eye on things, your crew could die and that would be that. They'd be dead and would never be able to return to the game. So much like real death. And isn't that a wake up call? Not to take in really. It's all right though, because look how cute Bomber Crew is. It is more cute than a newborn baby laughing for the first time. Although really to make sure that analogy works after the baby cries, it throws up in your face. Because you know, all the death stuff we just talked about. Anyway, if you're looking for a game that is as entertaining as it is strategic, you need Curves Bomber Crew. It is as simple as that. Number three, Flame in the Flood on Switch. There's many reasons that 2017 was a great year for the Flame in the Flood, but one of the main reasons is that yes, it did come out on the Nintendo Switch, which was also Curve Digital's first game on that console. So that's two things to get excited about. Two, and really, that's too many things to get excited about. If there's any more than one thing to get excited about, I go crazy. Why do you think my hair is so curly? If you do not know, however, in the flame, in the flood, you play as a young girl called Scout, whose only companion is a dog called Aesop. The goal, simple, try to keep Scout alive by focusing on her energy, thirst, hunger, and warmth. Otherwise, well, once again, she'll die. Sheesh, the stakes are truly high. There's also a crafting system, and the real kicker is, once more, death is permanent. So in short, do not die, which is both good advice for this game and your own life, which is the theme of my new indie game. Good advice. How long can you resist? And how long can you take being told good advice, especially when it's coming from a pretentious asshole? And will you listen to this fool? Or will you do what's wrong just to spite them? Good advice coming soon by me. Rackers. Number two, Gamescom 2017. In case you're unaware, Gamescom is a video game event where people get together to announce new games while they also sweat a lot. That's what happens. And among all of this year's perspiration, Curve Digital were there and they announced two new games. Two! And we've already explained the power of two. The first was Racing Apex, an arcade-style racing game that takes its inspiration from the 3D polygon arcade racing games and adds in modern gameplay elements, including car combat and multiplayer. So it's 
basically everything you've ever wanted in a video game as you get the charm of nostalgia mixed with the rambunctious fire of where the industry is today. Secondly, we had a Knight's Quest, an action-adventure RPG that was inspired by the likes of Metroid and Zelda. And you know Zelda, it's that green elf boy who wears a hat. Do Better still, a knight's quest is loaded with humor, which means it's funnier than you. And just look how pretty the visuals are. It is like a cartoon come to life. Although that would be terrifying. Imagine that. Imagine having a real life roadrunner in your life. Or that asshole porky pig. That may make that may make a good a good idea for an indie game. Cartoon come to life. Maybe coming soon by me. Brian Kranst. Number one, me, Brian Kranst. That's right, the best thing to happen to Curve Digital in 2017 is me, indie game developer Brian Kranst. And I am the reason that when 2018 rolls around, everything will be okay too. I mean, just think of all I've done this year. Think of all the indie games I have worked on. And if you are a moron and don't know, here is the definitive list. there is producing such consistent content? The answer is no one, because they are not me. They are not Brian Krantz, the savior of all video games and the hero of mankind. Uh, Brian, I don't think Curve would appreciate you saying stuff. I do not care what Curve Digital thinks. I only care about one thing. Indie games. Merry Krantzmas and a Merry Krantz New Year.